write about patents, and I'm not sure you've heard about uh, uh, about Mrs. Wilcox in the UK. She's doing the so-called IP stuff in here. Uh, she was working in this scheme called uh, Pure to Patent, which well, it's probably not fair to call it a scheme because it's got a negative connotation to it. But what it's basically doing is it's it's asking the crowd to look at a patent, in this case only computer-related patents, uh, and try and give some comments on it to decide whether it should be qualified uh, for the granting of a patent or not. Uh, what the issue is here is lots of these might be software patents going towards the UK, which shouldn't be, in theory, except in any software patents whatsoever. Uh, so in some ways it is kind of legitimize, legitimizing patents and it kind of concerns me as a developer because I, I mean I, I, I develop things and I kind of know the people in my field or you know sometimes trying to get you, you mostly US patents which you know comfortably enough I know it doesn't apply here but they they get patents on all kinds of algorithms and transformations and matrices you know things that everyone's doing things like uh, ICP like uh, iterative closest points and things like that which is ridiculous you know this is mathematics this is something you can just show in an equation you know just showing simple equation, people are trying to get monopolies on these things, and it, it really troubles me that, that this is allowed to happen. Uh, and I wrote a uh, post today with a list of all kinds of about 20-25 negative, uh, negative outcomes of having software patents approved or accepted in a certain economy. And, and it's amazing that it's still going on, because the, the big corporations, they have so much power. And they have all those lawyers who basically spend all day just going all software patents. It's wonderful, protect your invention, so on and so forth. You know, uh, promote innovation and you know, protect your invention. And there'll be people stealing your ideas and those words like stealing instead of being inspired. Uh, and and they have a lot of a lot of cloud and they have a lot of money. So so they they manage to squeeze these monopoly. Basically, it's just a protectionist measure to. Ensure that once you implement something, nobody else is allowed to do that. Uh, I mean, who would want something like that uh, with the interest of innovation, you know, for customers and developers? It's a terrible thing. If you're a monopolist or a business person, it's, it might be a good thing for you because you can make more money if you've got some nice implementation of something. So yeah, that's just uh, that's just my right. Uh, very unprepared. Well, as we're coming to the end of the show, just a, a few things to close off on. Um, in the next a couple of episodes. I'm not sure which one it is. We're going to be. I'm going to be talking about uh, GNOME 3 and why the current version of GNOME that I'm using at the moment is going to be my last. I think uh, it's quite a common topic that's been mentioned on the on the web recently, so uh, it'll probably come as no surprise to many of you. Um, also, I'm running Linux Mint at the moment. Um, Linux Mint 11, and uh, I'll have some views on that very shortly. Uh, being very impressed in nutshell. So uh, that's going to be something we'll be discussing as well and in the meantime thank you very much for downloading this show and for listening um, Tech Bytes is uh, only made possible because of the feedback and the people listening to the show and it gives us uh, a lot of satisfaction to know that there are at least some of you out there that are enjoying it uh, Tech Bytes is the only show to my knowledge that's uh, advertised for free by some Microsoft advocates around uh, Usenet and uh, with that in mind we'll, uh, we'll close on our standard track for the day which is Tom Smith and I Thought Troll. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauced. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. Underneath this creeper bridge, hope and goats will cross. Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge, I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He's even dumber than Mickey Cost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I wouldn't last two minutes with David Frost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. His worldview sounds like pro wrestling, although not as nuanced. 
Behind his eyes the wind's whistling I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost I kicked him off a of pentagon and atrios I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost He's permanently banned from daily cost I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost And in November W And all his thugs will toss We'll try to fix America I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost And all you trolls out there trying to aggravate everyone with your stupidity, illogic, and blind, unthinking devotion to the Bush regime, this section is especially for you. I'm not going to name any of you out loud, not wanting to give you even the slightest possible notoriety, but as you sink under the weight of your own asininity into an intellectual La Brea tar pit, you can imagine that I sing your nom de guerre right now and bask in a stolen fame you don't deserve. <laughs> 